All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Bungo Stray Dogs Season 5, Episode 10. The last episode, we had a kind of backstory for Fukuchi and Yukichi. Um, kind of saw how they came up, how they felt like competing as they were growing up, and then how they kind of went separate ways when um, Fukuchi went into the military. Yukichi did not go to the front lines. He instead went to went for the upper brass, which kind of helped end the war, I believe. Um, yeah, and then they obviously went on different paths in life. Um, on the... Then, actually then, uh, thinking about it, uh, Fukuchi then stabbed Yukichi, and that kind of ended that part of the episode. Uh, we then had Theodore, who double, triple, quadruple crossed, um, or had backup plans for, obviously, what, whatever Dazai had planned. Time Traveler girls, or no, Time Stop girl is uh, dead, and now they are currently drowning in an, uh, an elevator. So, yeah, very excited for this episode, see where it's going to go. You guys mentioned um, in the last episode's comment section that apparently the manga or the series is about to catch up where it's at in the manga currently, which is concerning. But I guess we are nearly to the end of the season. They've definitely did it. They definitely went into season five really quickly. Yeah, there's there's one episode left. This is the semi-season finale. So yeah, I guess they can kind of figure out what they're going to do about season six if that's going to happen but yeah very excited for this episode so as always guys if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well and let's go into this episode right now is this her mom oh sister or maybe that is the mom that he's just talking about the older sister What the hell happened? Where is she? What the fuck? How did you get up here, sir? Oh, I was like, where did that cross come from? What the fuck? Yeah, for real. I really thought he chopped her up. I mean, obviously not, but it definitely looked like he chopped her up. Yeah, what's Dazai's plan here? What the hell did he do? Why? Oh, shit. Okay. So now they gotta risk either burning to death or drowning. What's he shooting? Oh, okay. Damn, of course the doors are bulletproof. Or maybe they're not. They are just underwater. I don't know. It feels like a trap. Don't. Don't go yet. What the fuck? That's right. What are you doing? He has a plan. Oh my god. What are they doing? I think I know what they're about to do. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Shit. Okay, smart, yeah. Gotta do it above water. He can't breathe up there, though. Come on, Sigma. Open that shit. So wait, Theodore didn't have any countermeasures to this, so like, he could have expected it to come out the door, could have had a gun squad on the other side of that door. Drop impact sequence, are you serious? What the hell is this man? He's too intelligent, what is he doing? What? You didn't fucking yeet him? That's I. My brother in Christ. Gravity will kill your ass. Where is we? Oh shit, okay. Good view. Climb this building, cat boy. Oh shit. Come on, Sigma, believe in yourself. What does that say? Oh, I thought it was Russian. What does it say? 
It's going to be a tough fight for him. Octagawa filled with rage. Boy, what are you doing? Oh, I get it. I don't know if you're going to be able to wake him up out of this. It definitely feels like a killing situation or where I'm turning off his ability situation. Your leg's broken? You're lucky you didn't turn into a tomato pulp. Oh shit, go on Sigma. Oh, Sigma, come on. Aim for the head. You should have gone for the head. Okay, that's smart actually. He needs to give Chuya the order first. Oh, what if touching him enables his ability? Dazai's using him, but he's not using him, using him. Dazai wouldn't do that. I think he genu generally, genuinely does care about Sigma. Keep talking, bitch. Nice. I don't trust him. We don't know his ability. What are you? What are you, sir? A psychopath. Smash the window, dude. What? What was the command? What? Garlic sucks. <laughs> Dumbass vampire abilities. Yeah, just yank that shit out. I'm sure his brain will regenerate. Oh, it's gonna hurt, but it's gonna feel real good when it's out. Oh god, the pain! Oh, yanking on your brain. Father? Oh, the other kid. He kind of looks like Aya. Maybe he was born like you, Sigma. Wait, who wrote this? Boy, are you okay? Well, that triggered something. His eyes are open. They're just weird right now. So, was it subconsciously Octagawa's choice not to kill Aya? Oh, okay. Oh, damn. Give him a good bonk. Give him a good bonk on the head, see if that wakes him up. Oh shit. Why do you why did you stop? It's because you were gonna kill him. Fuck. Why does he What the fuck? Why does he look so kid like right now? Does he have a split personality? Wait. The the deal was that he couldn't Damn. Kill for six months so he can kill him. But I guess he can end it. Early, because he's killing him now. Oh shit. Bro, does he have a split personality? What the fuck? What? Kill him. Do it. Oh no. Oh no! Wait, that was a joke? I fell for it. For fuck's sake, man. That's some shit I'm appalled in real life. Anybody tries to mug me. <laughs> huh? Where am I? I'm only six years old. Yep, <laughs> making a joke, really. Oh shit, one order opened. Oh no. 
few dozen seconds. I don't think you should. I really don't think you should. It's definitely something, his ability is something to do with touching. Okay. You didn't see this hole until now? Wait, are you going to attach him to the table? It's, it's like yanking a tooth out on a doorknob. <laughs> Except it's a sword out of your brain. Or just pulled you with it. What the fuck? What the fuck? What is happening? What? What is all this? Is he getting a shitload of information? Was that too much for him? What? Why? Oh, yeah! Damn. Oh, uh, th oh, fuck. Oh! Bro, this is scary. He could have done it already. <laughs> no. No, I don't think so. Oh my god, he's gonna shoot him. He's gonna fucking shoot him. Oh my god. Brother. Nah. There's a little bit more of the episode. Are we getting a double cliffhanger? I'm gonna freak. We. This is like the sixth, maybe seventh, actually it might be the whole season episode in a row that we've taken an L. This is fucking ridiculous. Wait, what? One order is like a... Okay. Makes sense, actually. Yeah, it's like a, a little radio receiver. It's got, like, veins and shit. Ugh. Ugh! What the hell? Here's me thinking they were just gonna have vampires and shit roaming the earth, killing everybody. They have access to nukes! Fuck. Okay, the world is really gonna burn in, like, 30 seconds. How oh, you can move this big ass table? God, so heavy. This is the worst cliffhanger ever. Does it work? Does it work? Or did he? Does he just get yanked with it? No way. No way. Oh, it's working. That's gotta hurt like a bitch. Thirty kilos hanging from your brain. Bro. Ah! No way! Brother. Right, so that was Bongo Stray Dogs Season 5, Episode 10, the semi season finale. Ah. Oh, God, there's just so much happening. There's like four or five different scenes right now. Um, Yeah. Cliffhanger, as per usual. A dreadful, dreadful one, as, uh, as is. Yeah, something tells me the next episode, even though it's the season finale, is going to leave us on, on a cliffhanger. Um, very good episode. We stay taking L's. Hopefully we take a W in the next step. Um, all we need is that sword out of Bram. And he will just go, no more ability. Done. Hopefully the, the nukes don't launch before that, but is this going to work? Well, who's who's going to step in to do something here? Dazai's potentially been shot. Very, I mean, what we can see, he has been shot. How we're supposed to get out of that? Maybe he's dead. I don't know. Ridiculous, though. Um, overall, very good episode, and I'm very excited to see what gets pulled in the final episode. Uh, so anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction. Tune in next week for the finale reaction. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.